All right, everyone, today is another guide video for Kingdom Come Deliverance, which recently launched and has garnered quite a bit of publicity since then. Despite the fact that there are a lot of issues, bugs, and other technical problems in the game right now, it does have a great experience to offer. It is a work of art, and it's a very immersive game to get involved with, so I highly recommend it to fans of the medieval age, fans of medieval RPGs in general, uh, open world, sandbox style games, uh, hyper-realism. If you're a fan of any of those things, then you should definitely check this game out. However, it has also garnered a lot of criticisms because the combat is, quote-unquote, according to a lot of different reviews, clunky and badly done. While it may be true that the initial combat right when you start the game is indeed fairly clunky and hard to master, it is not true throughout the entire experience. In fact, the combat is very skill-based, and after you've unlocked a few combos and after you've trained up a little bit, you'll find that the combat is very rewarding in the sense that it makes you feel powerful when you perform actions the right way. As with most other games, getting started is the hardest part. Getting from level 1 or level 2 up to level 5, 6, 7, 8 into the range where you can start to unlock the combos, that's the most difficult thing. So the number one tip that I have and the best way to improve at combat and have a better experience is to head to this guy right here, Captain Bernard. And I will show you on the map right now his location. Uh, he is at, across the bridge, a little bit north of Rate, right, right about here. Um, Captain Bernard, you do have to do one or two main story missions in order to unlock him, uh, but once you do, uh, it's very simple, it's very quick. He will stand out here by this training yard, and you will be able to select a lot of options from him in order to train your character. Now, the best way to train combat is simply to be fighting, and this guy right here will offer you an unlimited duration in which you can just practice over and over with different weapons, uh, master your combos, and uh, just improve, and you will get a lot of experience for fighting him. What I suggest doing is selecting I'd like to learn combos, and then simply attacking him over and over and over during that fight without actually doing the combo that he's asking you to do. This will result in the fastest experience gain, and you can level up your sword skill, um, you can level up your axe skill, your warfare skill, all of these insanely fast. You can also move on to Master Strikes, you can learn to Repost, or I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. You can learn to Counter Parry and then Attack, which is a very valuable skill in the game to have. Um, and, you know, all of the different options that he has are valid, but this is the number one way to train your combat skill. However, you now need to unlock your combos once you've leveled up a, a little bit, a decent amount, from fighting him. What a lot of players do not realize is the amount of skill points that you get simply from playing the game in a lot of different categories with which to unlock things. So if you go over here to your player tab, and then you scroll uh, from stats over to combat, you can see that you have a defense stat, you have a warfare stat, axe, bow, mace, sword, and unarmed. If we go down to the sword skill, you can see mine's at 14, which is still fairly low in the grand scheme of things. Um, you are able to spend your points and unlock some of the different combos. I have unlocked a few here. I have Zorn or Zorn Ort. I can't pronounce these things, but uh, Wrath Strike. I have False Edge, Double Stab, uh, Feller, Scar Maker, uh, Wrist, a Wrist Attack, and a Run Through. And all of these combos are useful in different situations. I'm demonstrating a few of them on screen right now, and you can use them to knock down opponents. You can use them to. Uh, you know, bypass guard to attack the sword arm, make them drop their weapon. And once you've started to gather a few of these different combos, you know, selecting which combo you want from the list in the combat tree after you've leveled up fighting against uh, Sir Bernard, you'll start to have a much more fluid experience of combat. You'll be able to use things situationally, and the combat ceases to be clunky and takes on a much more skill-oriented and dynamic feel to it. The combos won't always work, and there are some problems with the combat system. Since there are so many different directions that you can attack, and then you have the middle uh, dot in the center for stab attacks, since you are chaining those things together, sometimes you can make mistakes, sometimes you can be parried or fail to parry the opponent. The combat system is not perfect. However, once you've leveled everything up, uh, it is vastly superior to what most of these reviews that are out there right now are talking about. They're describing a system that is, you know, insanely hard to use and doesn't really have any intuitive features to it, and that simply isn't the case. A quick recap, head to Rate, located right here on the map, and talk to uh, this knight right here, Captain Bernard. Then you should select, uh, in particular, the combo training regiment that he offers. Down here, I'd like to learn combos. 
And then if you'd like to do any of the others in order to learn them, that's fine. But the, the optimal method for leveling up quickly is to repeatedly go into I'd like to learn combos. You won't really take damage. You can play it for as long as you'd like. Uh, level your sword, axe, pole arm, whatever skill, warfare skill up as high as you'd like to. Then spend your points to unlock combos. Then practice those combos against him. And then you'll be in a much better position moving forward. Also, this guy right here, the one that you are training against, he offers a lot of quests to go fight bandits. And that, just a little side tip here, is the absolute best way to raise your reputation in this area. That's actually a very good way to raise your reputation in other areas as well. But in particular, Rate, that's where a lot of new players go. Um, and they struggle with their, their reputation. They've looted a corpse or they've somehow otherwise pissed off the townspeople. And they are not able to trade and they won't speak to them. Um, if you go to this guy and you hunt down all the different camps of bandits then you will absolutely crush your reputation and they will all love you and you'll sort out any problems that you previously had. So that's a bit of a side note to the video, but that's going to wrap it up. So if you enjoyed this video on how to best level combat, um, unlock combos and have a better experience in Kingdom Come Deliverance when sword fighting, then please drop a like on the video. And also I would be open to any suggestions of further games that you'd like me to cover. I am, you know, trying to expand my horizons here and do guides in a lot of different games, beginners, uh, you know, medium and then advanced guides as well. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below. Also check out the patron if you're interested. There's a link again down in the description. Uh, YouTube is unreliable at this point at best when it comes to revenue streams in order to advance and further projects that Upper Echelon LLC is taking on in order to create spaces for the community. So if you have any interest at all in getting integrated with us or supporting the agenda that we are trying to provide um, and supporting the initiatives that we are trying to take on, please check out the patron page in particular. And that's going to wrap it up. Check out the communities as well. There's a lot of links in the description. Uh, there's the website, the forums, uh, the Facebook community. Uh, check out the live stream if you want to. And that's going to wrap it up. As always, have a nice night.